Hey guys, it's Morgan Zeggers, and have you heard what the heck is going on in Loudoun County, Virginia? You need to know. First of all, let's start with this one. If you guys think women should feel safe in bathroom areas, then uh-oh, you are a bigot. And once the FBI is done throwing all the parents that are worried about critical race theory and sexual curriculum in the classrooms into their political prisons, they will be coming for you next, I swear. Here's a good example of what's to come. So in Loudoun County, Virginia, over 60 parents, students, and residents spoke at a school board meeting recently calling for the superintendent of the school board to resign after it was discovered that the school was covering up some really serious incidences of potential sexual assault. One mom even said, quote, this is not China, people. This is the United States of America, and we will not be silenced. Thank you, ma'am. Love that. But here's what led to this major moment. The first alleged assault apparently happened back in May when a ninth grade girl was assaulted in the girl's bathroom by a boy wearing a skirt. This is graphic, but you need to know how scary this was. A boy in a skirt was charged with two counts of forced sodomy, one count of anal sodomy, and one count of forcible fellatio against this poor ninth grade girl in the girl's bathroom. Scott Smith is the father of the girl that was assaulted in May, and in June, he attended a school board meeting to voice his concerns over the new rules for the bathrooms that allowed boys who think they are girls to enter the girls' bathrooms. He said these questionable accommodations for transgender students factored into his daughter getting attacked in the girls' bathroom by a boy. But what happened to poor Scott Smith? He was arrested at the meeting and found guilty of resisting arrest and disorderly conduct. This did not reflect well on the administration and the school board, obviously. And so now that the Daily Wire has reported on the assault, and now that dozens of parents have attended the latest school board meeting to voice their concerns and demand accountability for the entire situation, and not only that, but to ask for better protection of their kids, the Loudoun County officials are copping out by saying they had no idea that this had been happening and the specific details of the assault at the time in June when the concerned father was arrested. This favoring of appeasing transgender children over protecting young girls from dangerous and violent situations is disturbing and it's gone way too far, okay? My favorite take on the whole thing comes from former Navy SEAL Rob O'Neill who said, quote, I have daughters, I don't care how you identify. If I see or hear of you hurting a girl, may God have mercy on you because I won't. Oh, I love to see some masculinity and protection back in our country. We've got to protect our daughters. Thank you, Rob O'Neill.